Mary is a morality officer, which is kind of a strange term, um, but it was a real profession in the 1920s. And if you were a female and you wanted to be involved in law enforcement in any way, this was pretty much as close as you could be to becoming a police officer. All the usual things are being investigated. What was the explosive? Where was it bought? But here's the big thing. There was a body in the wreckage. She wants to be a detective, and so she connects with Frankie and Trudy. She admires what they do, and she wants to learn from them, and she wants to do what they do. It turns out that she's actually a pretty valuable resource for Frankie and Trudy when they're you know, solving their mysteries. Your horse was drawing a wagon that exploded down at Conroy Industries. And I know that because it threw a shoe there, which I trace back here. I'm sure you see how that looks. I have nothing to do with any explosions. You a cop? Well, I'm a... It, it's complicated. I'm a morality officer. The story they just see her as a morality officer, but she's definitely taking bigger steps to prove that she's way more than that. So it's great to have her be around us and to have that character just grow and to be more comfortable in herself. Mary is honestly one of my favorite characters. She's very different from every other female in Frankie Drake Mysteries in that she is very timid and she's not quite as open as all of us are. Do you have a theory? I do. I think that the bomber wanted the whole affair to look like the Wall Street bombing. Mary is very intelligent, but she is also kind of kooky. And so for this role, I've been exploring some physicality, which is different for me. And it's fun to play the silly character. You hang around girls like us, you're bound to change. <laughs>